Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Going to get into Adam Azim and O'Hara Davies uh, in a fight that I think is between two of the most overrated, overhyped fighters I have ever seen in my whole entire life. So it should be a good one. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, also join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon, the link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week, uh, which uh, has hit again. We've hit 11 weeks out of 12, I think, something like that. Now we're on an absolute tear. Uh, so join the Patreon, get the lock of the week. Uh, you also get asked to book anything. You get requested video. You get the updated props. You get the absolute best boxing advice in the gambling. You get the best gambling advice in the boxing universe. Also, this is brought to you by CarnivoreBar.com. CarnivoreBar.com. Get the, uh, I'm just sorry, Carnivore, CarnivoreBar.com. Uh, the link will be found in the description. Get the nutrients of a, ste- of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's CarnivoreBar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. CarnivoreBar.com. Save 10% using the promo code BOXING at checkout. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's fight. Adam Azim, long, nice feet, controls distance well. They love this guy over at uh, at, at Boxer. I don't see it at all. I mean, I'm not saying he's a terrible fight. 11-0. Uh, eight knockouts, five ten. The assassin, good range, impressive knockout over Enoch Polson in his last outing. I don't see anything here that really nice twitchy reflexes avoids. He can slip shots well, stays behind a high guard, good athleticism, quick hand speed. I I don't see anything next level about this kid at all. Uh, I'm sure he'll be a fine prospect. I'm sure he'll do well at the domestic level, UK level. I don't see him going any further than that. Might have some power. It's not great. It's not anything to write home about. He's got some accuracy on the outside. He count. He counters pretty well. He's got quick hands, but not super quick where it's going to carry him out at, at, at a high level. He can walk you down a little bit. He's got some physical strength to him. He uses his length pretty well. He uses his jab. He fires up quick one-twos. Like I said, physically strong. Can back you down. Good reflexes. Good speed. Nice little quick one-twos. He rips off one-twos when he has, has it in the ropes. If you circle, though, he's kind of basic and not. Just don't let him back you up. He's quick at, 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 at this level. He can win the battle of the jabs. He can win rounds. But that's not going to carry over at the highest level. Uh, to me, this guy is a, a, a B minus C plus type fighter. A mid-level prospect. I don't see anything special. I hope, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But I don't. He may win this fight with O'Hara Davies, and he probably will. But I, you know, O'Hara Davies is another guy that's just completely overrated. I, I don't even know where this came from with O'Hara Davies. Uh, he lost to Jack Catterall, and then like who did he beat? I don't understand O'Hara Davies. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. O'Hara Davies, again, kind of a domestic level guy. Twenty five and three, eighteen knockouts. So the eighteen knockouts a bit surprising. He got stopped by Ismail Barroso in his last fight out back in January. He's got a stoppage win over Lewis Fritzen. Like, who cares? He's got a very close, very competitive win over Tyrone McKenna, which is kind of his calling card. A win over shot Miguel Vasquez and the loss to Jack Catterall back in 2018. I haven't seen any improvement in him. Uh, he's long. He's short, but he's got long arms. He's able to maintain distance. He's easy to counter. He gets sloppy. His power, what he does have is at the end of his punch, so he wants to keep you at range. 
Not a lot of head movement. He gets hit a lot. Head, head on the line. He gets awkward. Like, he throws awkward shots. He's quick fighter. Quick fighters are going to have a field day with him, you know, because he's, he's got this long, slow jab. You can counter him. You can time him. He's an orthodox and, and awkward. So long jab. Get sloppy. Not anything great. He, he sits on the outside. He's not a high volume guy. Like I said, he may have a little bit of pop, but it's nothing spectacular. Not a ton of accuracy. He's plotting a little bit. This is like, I don't understand why people thought he was good. He uses his light and his awkwardness. He's got kind of quick feet. But his athleticism isn't special. He's not slippery. He's, he's easy to hit. His head's on a line. I, I look at him and I'm like, I don't get it. I, I don't I don't get it. And like I was watching Adam Azim and I wanted to like him and I watched him like I don't I don't get this guy at all. I, I don't I don't think either of these fighters are, are, are very good. Uh, I do think Adam Azim will win. I think he's quicker. I think he's cleaner. I think he wins the decision here probably. Uh although O'Hara Davies may have a suspect chin. I I would take his Eve. Uh, come over to the uh, Patreon when the um because this is a good fight to add to your parlay. I'm confident Adam will win. I, I think these odds will come down, so I wouldn't place this yet. But uh, Adam Azim money line one times bet. You can make it one and a half times bet. One hundred fifty dollar bet in this case would make you what would make you bet a seventeen dollars. Not a great bet there, but you can add this to your poll. I help bring your odds down. Uh, Adam Azim by points or the over, maybe something you want to bet too, but they don't have the props yet. So when they do drop the props, come on over to the Patreon. We'll show you how to bet on that. We'll show you how to make money on that. Uh, Adam Azim on the money line, minus 800, uh, makes you $18, uh, yeah, $18, $19 on a, on a $100 bet, minus 800. So it's not... Great there, but you can add to your parlay. It'll, it'll help bring down your parlay odds. He's definitely going to win a fight. He's definitely better than O'Hara Davies. You know, I don't really think either one of these guys are any good at all. Uh, but that's that's the review. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, over at carnivore carnivorebar.com, uh, get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar, and use promo code BOXING at checkout. That's Carnivore Bar. Dot com. All right, y'all. Uh, that's uh, I, for, for, I'm losing my brain today, y'all. <laughs> it is uh, October 14th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.